Hi guys, got another uh, grain to glass with you for you. This time it's a uh, Cascadian Dark Ale or Black uh, IPA. I plan to do an uh, IPA and in the last minute uh, due to a discussion uh, on the uh, 17 Brew Crew forum I decided to add uh, 300 grams of uh, Carafa 3 to see uh, how that would turn out. So here's uh, the brewing video and uh, as usual we will come back with the result after that. I added 4.5 kilograms of uh, uh, Maris Otter Pale Ale malt blend. It's a 50-50 blend. 500 grams of Munich, 500 grams of wheat. I will be uh, adding uh, 250 grams of uh, oats, flaked oats. Uh, after crushing. Uh, I also added 200 grams of uh, carapils and 200 grams of melodium malt. Uh, I were gonna add just 25 grams of uh, carafa 3 for uh, some coloring instead of uh, using uh, crystal malt. Uh, but uh, I decided to uh, make that 350 grams instead so uh, we will likely more be looking at uh, Cascadian Dark Ale or if you want to call it Black IPA. Let's crush this up. Please stop uh, buying pre-crushed grains. The smell coming out from the newly crushed grains are just amazing and you don't get that smell when you uh, open a pre-crushed bag of grains. Unless you're maybe crushing the same day at the store of course. The grains are crushed. I'll crush the Carefa 3 on the side because I will as usual be adding them at the at mash out 250 grams of oats just adjusting the speed with a valve which goes through the pump and that's not ideal i know that uh, we're actually 20 minutes into the match it's time to uh, take a ph reading as usual this winter we are a little bit under 5.2 we will continue to experiment with the uh, sulfate this time I will add uh, 6 grams of sulfate and see if that does anything temperature wise we're somewhere between 62 and 63 celsius so I will call that spot on in go 6 grams of calcium sulfate and use my narcotic spoon. We're 50 minutes after uh, adding the calcium sulfate. Let's take uh, another reading, see if anything has happened. Not that much, if anything at all. Just uh, lifted up the rain pipe here. I'm gonna start the Barging. Slowly add some water. We're up to boil now, so we'll start the timer. Won't be adding anything until the 30 minute mark. We're at 30 minutes. We add the first hop addition. Uh, in goes 25 grams of Cascade and 25 grams of Chinook. We're at the 50 minute mark. Gonna add uh, second hop addition and this is uh, 25 grams of uh, Villamette and 25 grams of Cascade. We'll also be adding some yeast nutrient and Kutaflok. We'll be adding a 5 minute addition. And that was 25 grams of Chinook, 25 grams of Villamette and 25 grams of Cascade. We're at uh, flame out, start the cooling, take us down to 72 C. So we will be adding uh, 60 grams of Chinook, 
50 grams of Cascade, 50 grams of uh, Villamet. I actually decided to let it sit for an hour. The beer is in the fermenter. Uh, I've, as usual, oxygenated wort with uh, pure oxygen, and then I pitch the decanted uh, starter. I'm gonna start this at 18 degrees Celsius. Let's take an OG reading. Uh, the wart ain't that uh, black, actually. Yeah, 1065. The beer is uh, finally in the fermentation fridge. And now we just have to clean up and uh, all of that. Uh, so I guess. The next time we will see each other will be at dry hopping or kegging or tasting or whatever. Cheers guys! So it's next morning we're sitting at 18C. Let's see if anything has happened. Can't really detect no signs yet. Uh, that's one of the things with this kind of airlock that I don't like. Can't see the same. Can't read it in the same way, but they're easier to clean. So a little bit of troop there in the bottom. Uh, 24 hours. Still sitting at 18 degrees. The fridge is in cooling mood. Now. We have bubbling and a huge crowd sun has formed. So we're on our way. 48 hours after pitching. Still fermenting away. Put uh, the hops in the Cascadian dark ale. Uh, put a shit lot of hops in. So still might get hoppy. Almost 190 grams was uh, equal amount of uh, Centennial, Chinook, Villamet, Mosaic, Citra, and Simcoe. But 30 grams of each, just Villamet uh, didn't have as much as 28 grams of that. So, mm. okay. There you have it, a good head, off-white head. Uh, it's not absolutely uh, pitch black. It's dark or right. It's not pitch black, as I said, but it's, it's a beautiful looking beer. really smell the hops actually this turned out really great uh, I think for me what I think a black IPA or Cascadian dark ale should be is like an IPA, but uh, with a lot more color and not so much uh, roastiness or chocolate. Um, I've tried some commercial ones and uh, the thing that I don't like with them is actually when they taste too much uh, chocolate or roastiness. Uh, It has some sweetness to it. It fermented out to 1016, so there are some um, sugars left behind. 
and uh, the ABV on this one is 6.5% which I think adds to the flavor which make it an IPA I think an IPA need that little extra oomph from the alcohol to uh, make it an IPA this ain't a tropical uh, fruit bomb and uh, the Chinook and uh, Villamette are uh, more say more um, earthy I think I really enjoyed this one um, so uh, I'm gonna call this a success it's a good tasting beautiful beer of course it could be uh, darker if you really wanted to call it black uh, so we could uh, even have added some uh, more of the Carafa 3 because we have nothing of that roasted burnt flavor at all but maybe we have to uh, compensate for that because I think uh, the more of the specialty grains we add the, the sweeter we get so uh, maybe we should pick a different yeast or even uh, swap a little of the base malt for some sugars to drop it down a bit if we were to add more specialty grains so cheers guys and uh, hope you enjoy the video uh, it's a nice brew very happy with it it's a beautiful day so cheers guys thanks for watching dr hans out